What's up everybody? Welcome back. Ruben Texel Water Fishing. I'm having a few some audio issues with my GoPro, so I'm not too sure if it's picking up my audio or not. Uh, when I play back, it's not getting any audio. So um, anyway, just doing this intro on my phone. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm back out here in my kayak. Beautiful Texas coast. Hunting down some reds. Also gonna be looking looking for some flounder. I have a new reel. This is a Sugaili reel, and this is a Sugaili rod as well. I bought them both on Timu. I'm going to be testing them out today, and I uh, really want to put them to the test on some big reds. So uh, stay tuned. I think I have a fish over here, so I'm going to cut this real short, real fast. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. There you go. Looked like he was facing to the left. Is that another one behind you? That's what I was thinking. It's probably mullet. Yeah, I'm looking to see if it's mullet again. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Trout. That's a keeper. Got a squeamer. Squeamerlicious. Nice, nice, baby. That's a nice trout. That's a that's unusual to be seeing one back here. Marsh trout in the house. Marsh trout in the house. You see one? Trout thinks he sees a red over there. But you see right here, there's connection. You got this back lake and you got that uh, intersecting right there. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in the intersection. You could just be in and around the intersection. Dang it. Charles says he sees something working that... Uh, that line over there how are you bleeding through the gills but I got you in the mouth huh huh let's see it might be a keeper get him Charlie Sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half inches. Love it, love it. Now just blind casting. The Sugaili didn't feel bad though. Nice, nice reel. Good reel. She's a little a little stiff, but it's you know it's a medium. So it's gonna be a little stiff. See if we get a see if we get a, another one in here. See if there's another another trout. I'm always I'm always you know I've catch trout in the marsh, but I'm, it, I'm always surprised when I do. I don't know why. It just in my mind, you know, trout are cleaner water guys, you know. But you know, fish are fish. Fish can be everywhere. So, and at first I thought it was a, a flounder that picked it up. And just started swimming with it because I felt the bump I felt a very subtle bump 
then he, then he started swimming with it. But yeah, Sugaili is feels good. This knob feels good in the hand. There's an oyster. The knob feels good in the hand. The handle is the right kind of distance to be coming out. So feels really good casting ability wise. It casts great. The rod itself is a little short. So one that I'm really not going to... The rod itself, the reel is outstanding. I'll put, probably put end up putting the reel on a, a different rod, something a little longer. But the, the, the end up putting the reel on something different, something a little longer. But the rod itself is a little short, shorty. Great to uh, wade fish with. I like a, a little bit of a longer, longer rod. Funny, I have this, uh, this one cork right here with this gope, just kind of pulling it behind me. Like that, hoping the fish will take it and have a little hard head take it. So that's, that's kind of comical. That's pretty funny. Not what I was targeting, but it did work nevertheless. Not seeing the schools like I had hoped for. Seeing a little bit here. Oh my gosh. Seeing a little bit of fish here and there. But not the schools like I hoped for. Right here, someone just splashed in front of me. So when you come back to the back lakes, so you know sometimes you can find the fish in the middle. Kind of uh kind of like I'm doing right now. Somebody just hit this. Somebody hit this twice. Kind of like I'm doing right now. But a lot of times it's a great idea to fish the grass line and just to follow the grass line all the way around and looking for schools of fish and looking for the bait yeah i just saw seeing a lot of fish activity in the middle as far as bait fish go so i just kind of just kind of slowly moved into the you know to the middle of the lake but it's a very good idea to chase the grass line all the way around because grass line does offer structure so and that's where a lot of the predator fish will push the bait up against a grass line and and just cruise the grass line and and feed a lot, especially the reds. I think I saw something in that drain. Couldn't tell if it was bait or real fish. There we go. Threw right on his head. Threw right. Oh, right on his head. Yeah, I gotta let him run. Gotta let him run. This real, real uh, light leader line on here. It looks like a stingray. Really? <laughs> looks like it. Yeah, that's alright. No, it's not a stingray. It's just dark. The water's just dark. It's a red. I see nothing. I know you, you literally just said, I think there's a fish in that drain and hooked up to it. How awesome is that? That is awesome. Catching fish on the way out. Catching fish on the way out. Come on. He's almost ready. I don't know if there's oysters over here on the side, so I'm trying to try not to let him get too close to the edge and not rush him. Come on. Oh! Yeah, baby! They're right here at the mountain, man. Yes. They're right on his head. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get one photo where you're holding it. Right on. That's perfect. It is perfect. Oh, dang it. I knew he was coming. I said, don't flinch, you're gonna fall. Cause I try not to put my my fingers in his gills. That don't there that never feels good to neither one of us. No. You got them teeth in there. Yes. Uh, there he goes. That's about a oh dang it! He's about a twenty and a half. Like yeah, he's perfect, ain't he? Perfect slot. 
It might take two kayaks, but we might get a limit. <laughs> 21 and a quarter. 21 and a quarter. That's perfect. Perfect slots in here. Love it. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were taking a picture. You're good. Your video. I'm just playing with it. Hey. Got him. Got him. Got that. This color right here. Yeah. I like it. It's worked. It, it's worked well. In the marshy area, yeah, it's worked very well. Dirty, dirty water. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'll put him in here. Easy for you to grab, I think. Then try to handle. Then try to hand him off in the handle. Little Sugaili, I think it's a 1,000. Little 100, 1,000. 12, 12 ball bearings. 12 ball bearings, that's awesome. Yeah, it is a little 1,000. And I think this is a little 6.6, six. it's a two piece rod. Pulled it in, I think it's 6.6 six, six medium. Real little inexpensive setup. Had a setup from my neighborhood pond, so that test line, leader line was, I was is what I was worried about. It's only 15 pounds, so I was worried about breaking. Just kind of let them run and let them do their thing. Once they're hooked, you try not to rush them, which is easier said than done, especially when you have that adrenaline pumping. And when you've been like us, all in this back lakes casting a million times, you finally got one to bite, so the last thing you want to do is lose your one opportunity to land a fish. Woo! Right on his head. Another one right on his head. One. Flounder. Oh, I threw it right on his head, bro. He was right there on the grass line. I threw it right on his head. Really? Mm, yes. Right on the grass line. It was a bad cast. I was trying to throw on the other side. And it landed right there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And he took it too, man. He took it. He wasn't playing around. He was not playing around. He took that one. Yeah, baby. Woo! Yeah! That one. I knew it would be right there on that point too. That's where that last one was that you missed. So, as soon as it landed, I popped. Uh -huh. And right between my cork and the shore shoreline, he splashed. Yeah. And then I, I left it there and he came back and got it. Sweet! All right, now let's measure this guy. He's going to be right, guys. Yeah, that's a 20. He's 20, huh? On the money? 21. Yes. He's 20 and a half. There you go. Got him on the old fish finder. Old fish finder. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I was recording, but... My GoPro died on me, and uh, there's this mullet and mullet over here that's getting hit on and banged on and banged on. And we haven't been able to make them, uh, make them bite or see what's underneath them to make them bite. But uh, earlier, Charles got a, a little rat red, and I just pulled this this little guy out. I, I think he's going to be undersized. He's probably going to be closer, closer to 18 to 20, but I just got him to bite. And uh, he whacked it pretty good. And open up, open up. There he goes. Goes again. Same lure all day. Coming in clutch today. One lure, one rod, one reel. Kind of deal today. And let's see where he's gonna be at. He is 19 and a half. Just missed it. 19 and a half incher. Just missed it. He's gonna live to swim another day. Huh? Yeah, I said he was probably closer to 18 then. But just on this little shrimp right here popping and popping like it was back there. Another fish just right on their head, you know? Just story of the day.
Another fish right on the head. Like literally wait for a blow up and then throw right on top of it. That's pretty much what I did. Like swimming through the bait was doing nothing. Nice. Charles got him. That is a good one. Set that hook. Yep. Go back. Yeah. I got a stink, big old fat stream ring. Big red? Nice. He's gonna be close. Yeah. He's gonna be close. Oh, yeah, I don't think he's big enough. No. I think he's the one you caught, but we're gonna find out. He's gonna be, I may have to step on him. <laughs> the old tail squisher. I'm gonna squish his face. Charles says it's gonna be close. Woo! What is it? On the dot, man. Twenty. Yep. Right on. Look at that. He's about an eight, about an eighth of an inch past twenty. Nice. That's a stringer fish to me. Hold him up. Here you go. I take it. I will. I'll take it. But anyway, you know what? I came out with Captain Charles. I and threw an invite to Charles. I said, hey, I'm going to go kayak, uh, fish a place that I've only fished, like, via boat a couple times. Do uh, you want to go out and put in over here and go fishing? And he said, yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm going to be seeing Carl Charles in a couple more days. Uh, we're going to go on his boat and go fish. But today was kind of a slow. It was a slow day. You know, there was a lot of bait in the water. It wasn't a lot of water movement as far as the tide changing. The water level was decent. It was nice and high. The water was dirty, um, which isn't a problem. You know, you're fishing in a marshy area, so it's going to be dirty a lot. Uh, but the fishers weren't cooperating. They were real, real sluggish. They weren't moving a lot. They weren't feeding a lot. When we did see them, we really couldn't get them to bite. It, and you know and I told Charles I'm like you know this is just one of those times where you're gonna have to put literally put it in the fish's face to get a reaction strike and just make them bite and we end up doing that that's what the technique and, and what we end up really really doing and, and got lucky a few times and really put it on the fishes in the fish's face and they just struck at it struck at the lure um, I'm fishing with the new Sugaili a spinning reel and a, and a rod and uh, I got them on Timu. So check out Timu. There is a link for that in my description section. And yeah, I get a little something back for it. You download the app and spend some money. You know, I get a little back for it from it. Uh, but yeah, I love that Timu app. I buy all kind of stuff on there all the time. I buy stuff on my house. I buy stuff for the car. I just I love that app. But hey, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget, you haven't subscribed yet to the channel. Please go ahead and do so. Like the video. Leave a comment. And until next time, hope you catch me. Hooking up. Thanks.